Purple urine bag syndrome is a rare phenomena which can be highly concerning and distressing for patients and their relatives. It is a complication of urinary tract infections in which patients produce purple urine in their catheter tubing and bags. This is a simple spot diagnosis. However, a lack of physician awareness can result in misdiagnosis and inappropriate treatments. PUBS is a consequence of UTIs with bacteria which metabolize products of tryptophan to produce red and blue pigments. Normal bacterial flora deaminates tryptophan in the gastrointestinal tract to produce indole. Indole is rapidly transported by the portal circulation and is conjugated to produce indoxyl sulfate by the liver. This is secreted into urine where sulfatases and phosphatases produced by certain bacteria convert it to indoxyl. In alkaline urine specially, indoxyl is oxidized to indigo, a blue pigment, and indirubin, a red pigment. These pigments mix and react with catheter tubing to produce a striking purple hue. This interaction between the bag, that is the plastic, and pigments as well as a high bacterial load is important in precipitating pubs. The causative organisms are mostly gram-negative, Providentia stuartii, Providentia regeri, Klebsiella pneumoniae, Proteus mirabilis, Escherichia coli, Enterococcus species, Morganella morganae, Pseudomonas aerogenosa, Citrobacter species. It is important to note that not all bacteria can cause pubs, even among the same species. And that is why pubs is so rare. Talking about the risk factors, female urinary anatomy unfortunately predisposes them to UTIs. If patients have an increased intake of tryptophan in their diet, then there is an increase in the substrate for the pubs causing bacteria to metabolize and produce red and blue pigments. Alkalinized urine facilitates the oxidation of indoxyl sulfate to indigo and indirubin, the blue and red pigments which mix to produce the purple color. Although alkaline urine appears a key factor in pubs, it is not always necessary, as evidenced by a case report of pubs in acidic urine. Severe constipation often leads to urinary retention, which leaves bacteria in the urine with more time to work on their substrate, indoxyl sulfate, to produce more red and blue pigments. Gastrointestinal conditions such as obstruction, intersusception, and ileal diversions can also increase pubs, presumably because the bacteria are allowed more time to grow and deaminate tryptophan as in constipated patients. Elderly and bedridden patients with multiple comorbidities more often require long-term indwelling catheters which increase their risk of UTIs. Such patients are more likely to be infected by the rarer bacteria which can go on to cause pumps. A greater urinary bacterial load during a UTI will obviously increase the availability of bacterial sulfatases and phosphatases which convert indoxyl sulfate to indigo and indirubin. It has a high morbidity and mortality relative to UTIs alone due to its contributing factors. One must treat the UTI and any constipation as well as sanitation measures including replacing the catheter. Another approach is to use intravenous antibiotics if the pubs persists or the patient is in an immunocompromised state. In either approach, it is important to change drainage bags and indwelling long-term catheters on a regular basis to prevent recurrence and because persistent pubs can lead to phonious gangrene which requires surgical debridement. Non-plastic catheter bags are another alternative. The retention of urine discoloration despite a change of urinary catheter may indicate the need for immediate or continued antibiotic treatment to prevent infective complications such as urosepsis, especially for patients with multiple comorbidities. Until the purple hue of urine has normalized, it is best to continue the treatment.